Let me go to the next one. This is the, from uh, Shaika Al Masherji. You are yeah. there, please. You are there, Shaika. Yes. Are you there? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, please. If you have any audience, have any questions at the outset, we can ask. Or if you don't no questions, presenter can quickly give the outcome. Sure. Only result part you can highlight. Okay. Uh, so, hello everyone. I'm Sheikha al Shurji, a junior student at Gulf University for Science and Technology, Department of Business Administration. Uh, today, I want to give you a brief um, a description of our patented treatment um, um, that has been uh, conducted with, with 100 uh, randomized patients. Uh, so, uh, firstly, if, let me begin with a brief description of the condition, and then uh, we move to the methodology and the, uh, the results. Uh, vitiligo is a multigenic and multivectorial disorder that causes discoloration of the skin, affecting 77 million individuals worldwide. Um, recent studies show that vitiligo is affected by oxidant and antioxidant imbalances, meaning that there are more oxidant effects happen than antioxidant. As a result, the overoxidation in the cells causes the pathogenesis to the destruction of melanocytes as well as the inhibition of melanin production. So, based on this updated information, the treatment has been customized with natural compositions, and its commercial name is BT treatment. Uh, the two-phase topical treatment of uh, topical treatment of photosensitive oxidant antioxidant shock methodology was patented by Kuwait University Faculty of Medicine. Uh, so our treatment hypothesis is to do a two-phase separate treatment of post-oxidant followed by antioxidants. Uh, the first treatment contains um, immune modulatory compounds and other photosensitive compounds that work with both UVA and UVB. The second one has a specific uh, antioxidant and an enzyme cofactor, tyrosinase cofactor. So basically the idea is that we introduce um, photosensitive compounds to produce melanin and melanocytes uh, by melanogenesis and melanocytogenesis. Um, uh, also, we introduce uh, for, uh, immunomodulatory compounds uh, to reduce the effect of the autoimmune. Though we don't need the overexidation caused by the first uh, uh, treatment, uh, treatment uh, we placed the second one with powerful and selective uh, antioxidants and the cofactors needed uh, for, the types, for the enzyme tyrosinase action. Uh, as for the methodology, we conducted a survey uh, with, uh, with uh, 100 patients uh, and we uh, sent it uh, through a group that gathers them. Uh, and we received 100 uh, response from uh, randomized patients. Uh, as for the result, the first chart shows uh, the gender of the, um, the patients, where 52% um, uh, were male, uh, were female, and 48% um, uh, were male. The second chart shows the uh, age groups, where 30% uh, were between the age of uh, 21 to 30, 30% uh, as well were between the age uh, 31 to 40, 18% were between the age 41 to 50, 15% um, 15, um, 15 were between the age 10 to 20, 6% were between the age 51 to uh, 60, and 1% was over 60. The uh, third chart shows uh, the um, the types of vitiligo, where 39 uh, if you could go up a little bit, sir. The third one, yes. The third chart. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it shows that 39% uh, were uh, were bulgaris, 36% uh, were uh, acrofacial, 20% were focal, 4% um, percent, uh, were segmental, 2% and 2% were universal. The fourth chart shows uh, the um, previous experiences of treatment before using BT treatment. Um, and they were 10% um, haven't, haven't had any um, treatment uh, prior BT treatment. Um, 40, uh, about 42% uh, had combination therapy, 10% uh, had traditional and herbal uh, medications, 10% uh, had UV phototherapy, and 
um, about 27% uh, had topical uh, immune uh, suppressants and immune modulators uh, treatment. And the fifth uh, chart shows uh, the treatment response of patients, where 96% uh, had repigmentation and four hadn't uh, had repigmentation. Uh, the last chart shows uh, the recurrence after stopping the treatment, uh, where 48% um, uh, haven't had any recurrence after abandoning the treatment. 40% uh, uh, had new, new spreading, but not on the treated areas, and 12 had recurrence uh, after abandoning the treatment on the treated areas. So these were the most useful uh, data that was extracted from the survey, and here are some before and after photos that shows the um, treatment response on uh, different areas in the body. Thank you so much. Okay, so at more time for any questions, if anything, you know, to get the time that is if someone is not presenting, I'll give you a time for the audience to ask the question. So thank you. I will move to the next poster. Okay.